A man suspected of kidnapping a woman has been found dead. Eau Claire authorities say Mitchell Owens killed himself. Owens was accused of kidnapping a worker at the Walmart in Waquanago. Her family told us she and Owens used to be friends. She escaped when they got to Eau Claire. No word on why he kidnapped her or where he was taking her. The man arrested in connection with the death of his girlfriend's three-year-old son now faces a total of 14 charges, including intentional homicide. Maurice Snyder is accused of killing Aiden Archer. The criminal complaint describes a horrible case of child abuse. State lawmakers are expected to pass a bill that would ban non-emergency abortions after 20 weeks of pregnancy. Now, under this proposal, doctors who did so could be charged with a felony and even face prison time. This is a piece of legislation that respects the humanity of the unborn. This ban is unconstitutional, it is unscientific, and it is unethical. If the bill gets through the Senate, it would then need to be passed by the Republican-held Assembly. Miller Coors no longer sends waste to landfills in Milwaukee. It used to send 65 tons of waste to landfills each month. Employees came up with ways to recycle what it uses to make beer, and get it to the market. We are reusing or recycling 100% of our waste. I, I find that incredible. And it includes many things, amongst them spent grain, uh, aluminum, glass, plastic, cardboard, but everything uh, gets reused or recycled. Now, seven of eight Miller Coors brewers around the country are now landfill free. Time now to get a quick check on our forecast. Here's Chief Meteorologist John Milan. And we got a lot of calls, a lot of voicemails, a lot of emails uh, this morning about what happened to the sun as it rose. And uh, this morning we had lots of red colors, uh, red hue to the sun, not normal. Well, it came out of Canada, the culprit, and move down to the south. We have a northwest jet stream, so all of the air is coming from the northwest, and you see clouds on our visible satellite picture, but that wasn't the culprit. The culprit was wildfires and forest fires in Canada, and the smoke, the particulate matter that came down in that northwest jet, gave that red hue to the sun. If you see a different color in the sun or the moon, it's generally because something is getting in the way and blocking the colors, and that's what happened this morning. Now, a couple of weeks ago, much of eastern, northeastern Wisconsin and central Wisconsin were in a abnormally dry condition, but with rain over the last couple of weeks, Drought Monitor Network just has some dry conditions across northwestern Wisconsin, but right now the rest of the state looking pretty good, and that's some good news. And this June is generally a very wet month around here. The heat wave continues, 86 degrees today. It's the warmest day so far of 2015. Normally, our high temperature today right around 70 Three. Sunday we had 82 degrees, then Monday also 82, today at 86, and it looks like our little mini heat wave will continue through tomorrow with predicted highs of 85 degrees. Now, you'll see those high temperatures across the state. Look at Madison, their first 90 of the year, 90s in southwest Wisconsin, 80s everywhere else. In the evening hours, if you're going out, it's going to be very, very summer-like, 82 in Waukesha, 83 in Burlington. Overnight low temperatures, very summer-like with highs, or I should say low temperatures, in the mid-60s. We're watching scattered showers across northwest Wisconsin in the evening hours. Some of those could sneak down here towards the morning hours, and as you can see, this cold front and a low pressure system will combine to bring rain here by Friday. Here's that front currently and overnight tonight. The warm front blows through very, very warm overnight tonight. Cold front blows through by late tomorrow. And then we'll be watching the low pressure system out of the Rockies. That will build in by Thursday night into Friday, bringing rain to our area. And our computer model shows that we could see as much as an inch in some locations. Tonight, uh, not, not bad. Partly cloudy and warm. A scattered shower late 67 degrees. For tomorrow, we'll see plenty of sunshine once again. Back up to 85 degrees on west northwest winds. Tomorrow uh, night is cool with north winds and 58 degrees and right on into Thursday. We'll see lots of sunshine, partly cloudy. Evening showers in 72. Your storm team four. Seven day forecast. Uh, Friday looks like the worst day. Showers and thunderstorms are likely at times 73 on Saturday, 68 degrees. And by Sunday, still more thunderstorms in the forecast. We're right at 76. On Monday, showers and thunderstorms still likely 78 degrees and just cloudy for Tuesday with a high of 71.